now that you have it with the workers in the bottling company, I would like to make you the managing director. And for the poultry farm, you can call for employment. You may hire a driver if you so wish. Wow, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I should be thanking you. You see, I promised myself that I was going to make you the richest young man in town before you turn time years. And I'm happy you are living up to it. <laughs> that I'm grateful. I mean, you're doing it already. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. And I'm also indebted in the work you've Sometimes, I just wonder if I'm still part of this family. Now, what is the meaning of that? Don't worry, Dad. I'll be right back. Let me go to her. The meaning of that. Why would does your father constantly remind me that my father left nothing tangible for me? And what do you mean by that? Why can't he make me a manager in one of his companies? Why? Oh, that? I see someone is trying to be productive. Very good. Okay, um, fine. I will talk to my father, right? He is going to make you the manager of the poultry farm. How about that? Excuse you? Can you hear yourself speak? A university graduate like me, a manager in a poultry farm? Hey, come on, honey. You don't need to work yourself for nothing. All right? Okay, fine. I can talk to my father. He could make you manager in any of the companies. How about that? You will have to talk to your father before he can give your wife a suitable job. Oh, come on. What is wrong with you, Lizzie? I mean, what do you need a job for? I pay you salary. I give you everything you need in this house. You don't need a job if you ask me. You know what? I am done talking about this. I thought you were mad. Come on, why are you working yourself up for nothing? You don't need a job. Okay, fine, I'll talk to my father. My son, a woman is like a young man. No one knows where the head will take when it sleeps. That is deep. Yes, it is. You have to watch your wife. You watch her closely. Don't let her take your dignity away. Mm -hmm. Always take your stand. Love her unconditionally. Oh, Dad. Thank you so much for the piece of advice. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm inspired. <laughs> Let's drink to it. Oh, of course. Okay. So, to love my wife unconditionally and. Yes, and working hard at the office. Exactly. <laughs> and for. Long life and prosperity to this family. We keep moving from strength to strength. That is it. 
Here we go, Dad. <laughs> I just see. Here we go, Dad. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to the latest manager in town. Mm -hmm. A glass of wine. Please. Okay. Yes, yes. Very good. Go and call that. He's already awake. And I said you should call him. He's coming down from the staircase. Oh. Is breakfast ready? Yes, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? Pap? Obviously, sir. You should have asked me what I wanted. I don't like Pap. So? You mean the stress of waking up early to assist Anne in the kitchen is useless? No, I didn't say that. I said I don't like Pap. Definitely, I don't want it for breakfast. You just know how to ruin someone's day. Anna, sir? You know I don't like Pap. Why did you prepare it for me? She insisted I prepare it, sir. I told her you do not like Pap. She said I should prepare it anyway. I'll go to the kitchen and fry me some plantain. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. You want You can never tell me. Honey, I told you I cannot continue with this anymore. What happened? Is it not your father? That man can never be appreciated for once. He finds reason to complain in everything, just everything I do. I just asked, what happened? What is it with my father? He just rejected my breakfast, simply because it's bad. Then honey, you should give him what he wants. It's not as if we don't have enough food in this house. And you expect me to go back to the kitchen? Hell no, I'm not going back to the kitchen. And that is why we have Anna. I mean, that's why we pay her, allow her to do her job. Listen, sweetheart, we are all going to eat the same breakfast. If he doesn't want to eat with us, he should go hungry. Yes. Oh, come on, Lisa. This is my father we're talking about. I don't care if he's your god. He should learn to eat whatever I serve him for breakfast. This is my house. My husband's house. My house. My rules. What are you doing in my kitchen? I'll find plantain. I got say he wants to eat plantain. Who is with that? My friend dropped that in and get out. He said he's very hungry. Drop it and get out of this. Do you want me to push you? Get out! Morning, Dad. Oh, morning. How was your night? Oh, it was fine. You're ready for work. Yeah? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. You drive safely. Fine. See you in the evening. All right. Okay. 
I think you're in the cell. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Alright. Where is the black there? Auntie Elizabeth drove me out of the kitchen. Elizabeth drove you out of the kitchen? Why? Because I decided what we all eat in this house. Elizabeth, do I have to remind you that I built this house? And I employed Anna to be my girl. And it's my kitchen. I decide what goes on in there. Anna. So? Go back to the kitchen and finish up with the plantain. Thank you, sir. Sir? Yes? The kitchen is locked. Elizabeth, why did you lock the kitchen? It is my kitchen. How many times do I need to tell you that my wife is not your cook? She's not your maid. If you need anything to eat, tell Anna that's why she's there. That's why she's paid. So, do you know that sometimes when I look at you, I see myself as a man who brought a honeycomb to stay with you? If you would excuse me, I had a terrible day. me as if I'm a little girl that needs guidance in everything. He even wants me to beg him for a job. Oh, Lizzie, please calm down, okay? Don't be upset. I spoke with Collins and he promised to see me visit me. When he comes, I'm sure to discuss all this with him and all these things will stop. Thank you. So now, what do I offer you to do? Anything chill would be nice. Anything chill. That means you need scotch or you rock. Whatever. Bye, man! I think I know why you invited me. And why haven't you done anything about it? Jerry, I'm still... It's a, it's a gradual process, all right? And I'm still doing something. Collins, listen. If you want a happy home, then keep your father away from it. How? Send him to the village. Or you buy a house for him out of the outskirts of the city. That's simple. Very funny. Collins. I'm sure you know my father is in the village. That is where he should be. Closer to his ancestors. Because you built your house with your money. I didn't build where I live with my money. It wouldn't be easy sending him out of his own house. 
don't you think? Collins, can I ask you a simple question? Go on. Do you love your wife? I hear you want to ask him this question. Of course you know I love my wife. But your actions are proving otherwise. Collins, give her a happy home. I mean, make that home comfortable for her. Um, Jerry, the truth is, I've allowed my wife to treat my dad with so much scorn and hatred. But he still doesn't feel irritated to leave. If I let your wife do more, one day he will be irritated and he will be forced to go to the village. Tell her to do more, more. Jerry, you don't understand. My father is a very quiet man. He can't be easily upset, no matter how much you try. You see, Collins, I'll call your wife and I'll give her tips on how to deal with him. I swear down this time he will feel it to his bones. Mark my words. Do you think it's good? You see, with that, he'll be totally handicapped. You see why I always come to <laughs> you are too smart. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. I will still come back and thank you. Thank me. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay. How many times do you open the gate? Other man, who they count. And you, Abana? When last did you clean this house? Yesterday, ma. Mm -mm, today, ma. <laughs> uh, How uh, many times? Every day, ma. Every day. Mr. Driver. John. My name is John. Oh, shut up. Who cares what your stupid name is? You're just an ordinary driver. Common driver. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for your stupid son. How many times do you drive my father in love? <clears throat> he doesn't normally go out unless he's going to golf club. So you do literally nothing in this house. Ma? You are paid to do nothing in this house. Hey. Anyway, I am going to pay you for this month so that you go elsewhere and get yourselves jobs. Ma? Madam, ma, 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 I am hey. still talking. Hey, you. I didn't ask you to go. I'm going to give you one month, please. If you continue your madness of siding with my father in law. Thank you, Ma. Henceforth, your duties in this house includes cleaning. Yes, Ma. You can go. Thank you, Ma. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. Oh, my, John! 
I told this brother I'll be going to the cathedral this morning for Christmas. John is not around, sir. Where did he go to? Auntie Elizabeth sacked him yesterday. Elizabeth sacked him? How can Elizabeth sack my, my driver without my consent? Okay. Tell Eket to open the gate for me. Eket is also not around, sir. She sacked him too? Yes, sir. What is wrong with this lady? How can she be sacking my, my workers without my consent? What an insult! I won't give the devil the chance this morning. Just to open the gate. Where is your wife? She's upstairs. Go and tell her I want to see her. But she's asleep. I can't go to wake her. Is that a problem? Your wife sacked my driver, my gateman, and my cleaner without even informing me. Maybe because she doesn't need the services anymore. Did you hear yourself? Maybe your wife doesn't need the services of my driver and my gateman too. How can she sack people she didn't employ in the first place? Is that not height of insult? Daddy, she must have a reason for doing that. So you are aware of it from the beginning, eh? No, God, please, I'm on time. I really need to go to bed. But I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow. I don't know why she did such a thing. Good night. To have a word with you, sir. Okay. I just wanted to remind you of my undying loyalty to you, sir. I honestly hate to see you sad. Mm. And if there's anything I can do to to help, I will not hesitate to help, sir. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you very much. Well. Can you go and get me a cup of water? Of course, sir. Good. I really mean it, sir. I could never forget how you took me off the streets, assisted me, and changed my life. I owe you everything, sir. And Anna is at your beck and call. Thank you very much, Anna. That is reassuring. Thank you once again. I'll get the water, sir. Please do. Thank you.
Good morning, Dad. Oh, good morning, son. As well, night. My is ready for work. Oh, yes, I'm ready. Oh. Uh -huh. um, did you ask your wife what I told you last night to ask her? Don't tell me you woke up still having that grudge in your heart. Is that an answer to my question? But that honestly, I am beginning to have it up here. My wife is not your maid. She's not your cook. Excuse me. I was complaining. Yes, get me a glass of juice. Come. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water before bringing the juice. Come, uh, Elizabeth, come and help me with this. Old man, my name is Lizzie, not Elizabeth. By the way, help you with what? I'm not a doctor, and I don't look like one, or you just want to report me to your son again. You don't have to be a doctor to use this. I don't want to use it. Ah. Anna, Sir? come and help me with this. Anna, get me fresh tomatoes and onions. Rush to the market. The money is on my bed. Rush to the market immediately. Anna, Sir? go and help her buy tomatoes. Mm. Okay, sir. Get going! Fresh tomatoes! Fresh! Don't buy rubbish for me. Everything we do in this world Everything has its reward Mama, I Mama, you're welcome. I've been waiting for you. Where are you? Eliza, mom. Mama, can you give me Eliza? Eliza, I beg you, I need you. Lizzie, Mama, Lizzie, let me change you. Lizzie, mm-hmm, you're bien. Mm-hmm. But what do you mean? You don't look happy. What happened? How can I be happy? Mama, you need to follow me to my house. You need to follow me to that house to show them that you're an action woman. To pay for Bella's, let's see. Let, let them know that I have somebody. You still haven't told me what happened. Mama, I just want to be in charge of that house. I want to be in charge of the companies, the kitchen, everything. Mama, I want to be in charge of everything. <sighs> Don't worry. I will come and display a little drama for them. Trust me. I will tell them that you are the daughter of a lioness. Bien. Oh, Mama. Hey. Come and show them. Oh, why? Bien. Hey. Come and show them. Oh, why? Bien. Hey. Nemo. Uzuanato. Action woman. <laughs> I know what you can do. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Oh? Yeah. Let me go and get you something to eat. Hey, hey, mama, mama, mama. Don't bother yourself, eh? I need to rush back to town. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, my husband will come and pick you. 
But before then, can't tell you, child. Can you not offer my? You want to, you know, you want to know I'm not a log line. The lady is making the house unbearable for me. Not just me, every other person, in fact. She insults Chief to his face anytime she likes. And what does a son do about it? Hmm. That one. He has never put her in place. He does not call her to order. He just sits without saying a word. Hey! You see? In that case, you have to apply wisdom. Don't get involved in anything that concerns them. They are one family. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Who am I seeing? Sister. <laughs> she went to church. Yes. Sister, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sister. How are you? How is work? Work is fine. <laughs> oh, I hear you made straight A's in your work. Sister, I made seven A's and two B's. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good. Sister, I chose that I want to buy my jam phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew you would not miss that. Mm -hmm. I did not worry. I'm so proud of you. Once I get my salary at the end of the month, I'll give you money. Oh, <laughs> Mama, did you hear her? I heard, I heard my daughter. Go and get me water to drink before I go. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome. No problem. <laughs> We are here. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Odin Kenke Mile. If I did speak, she 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 I knew my daughter was coming to the right place. This is paradise. One, two. Hey! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming, let me feed my eyes. Nine. Hey! Nine! What do you you are the best thing that happened to my generation. God bless the day I found the day my daughter found you for us. Hey! Mama, come, let's go. Come, 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 come let's go. Let's go. You are so used to this. Hey! You're welcome. You're welcome. Easy, easy, easy. Look at my glass. <laughs> my, <laughs> my reflection, no problem. Let's go. Here we go. Father, I thank you. Let's go. You're welcome. This is your house. Feel free, alright? Let's go. Alright, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet home. Come on. Come on. Honey! Ah, you're welcome! Mama! 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 
<laughs> Mama, you've not seen anything yet. Wait till we go upstairs. This is heaven. Okay, ladies. I have to go. Honey, take mom to her room. Huh? All right. So. Okay. My good in law. <laughs> All right, my love. Okay. I'm coming. No, no, no. A good thing now, but I know. You look good as well. You've changed so much. Go see Kelly. Eh? 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 Go see her there. Ma, I would have even looked prettier and fatter. Ma, go no any liye go liye go ike. If not for one blood sucking demon in this house, you see me? The person is bent on what's now mama name it a week. Giving me a headache day and night. And who could that be? A maid or your husband's relative? Mara Boko. You just came. You have to freshen up. Eat well prepared. Delicious food. Now we're mates. Yeah. Eh? After that we can talk. <laughs> that one is by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it here. Let's go. See around the neck. 24 karat gold. Eh? I don't know what you want. Ah, I, I, I didn't know you were here. They didn't tell me you were coming. Must you be told I was coming? Eh? Do I need to take permission from you before I visit my son-in-law? No, no, my in-law. It's not like that. I mean, this is also your house. But what I mean is that if I knew you were coming, they told me, I would have arranged the Catfish for you. I can't remember telling you anything about catfish. Did I tell you I've never eaten catfish before? My lord, are we fighting? Did I throw a punch at you? I can go. I was coming to sit down, but I can see it's not conducive for you. You are the bomb. Hey! Look at the way you are giving it to him. Giving it to him. You know what, Mama? You should be visiting every week. Trust me. I will make this house uncomfortable for him. Yemi, yemi, yemi. An Abogan Express. Bam! My action lady. My only mama. Let's continue. Hey, I am going to get it though. Mama, there is money in this Abiko. If these women in the village, I need to show them. Okay, okay. that we have arrived. <laughs> you see the money, you are going to eat it for them. I need you to eat it for them. No, no. <laughs> I need to talk to you. You must be the new gate man. 
Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where is my daughter? Your daughter? Your madam? Oh, <laughs> me, I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know anything about that. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Go, take this bag inside. Father, my own here. Not too close. I'm open. That's all. I don't think I have anybody bad. Are you stupid? If my daughter hears what you just did now, she will fire you. Fire. You know, In short, you are fired! Hey. Fire me. Hey, monkey banana. You're still here. Eh? Shameless man. Balance your nap before now, juice. Not know that I have a better place to stay. <laughs> Listen, I will tell your husband to collect that project from him and give it to another person. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Please, my head is spinning. Enough of this, your contractor talk. Minister, you are here. Welcome. Thank you, Chief. Where is Collins and Anne? Uh, Anne. Anna. Oh, Collins, call Collins there. Collins, good that you're here. That is your pit notice. 
You expected to leave this house in less than three hours. Ah! Asota, this is woman. She's a woman. What are you talking about? Eh? Is this some sort of intimidation? Papa, shut up! Papa, you're making noise! Don't make noise! Hey! Ah! Come on. Did you just say you see that I'm making noise? Eh? Hey, I know your plan. You want to intimidate my daughter and my wonderful son in law. <laughs> I have to take my leave now. Okay, yeah. I will see you in the office. No problem. Silence. Ah! It's a boy. It's a boy. No, Mama, shut up. You are making noise. Messi can on.
second chance in my next world you will be my father you are the man I've known all my life
Jerry, you see, I, I've been evicted from the house finally. And as it stands now, I don't have anywhere to go to. So I was wondering if I could stay here for some time, at least to figure out what to do with my life. Collins, you should have told me on time. You don't just wake up and come and stay in my house. I don't understand, Jerry. It's me, oh. Collins, your friend. Collins, I know. Collins, I know it's you. But you see, my wife and her sister came in last night. And as I talk to you, we're expecting my mother-in-law tomorrow. Come on. 
with all these, how can I accommodate you? Jerry, I am stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't even have money on me. You and I know you have plenty rooms in this house. Why can't you just allow me to stay in one till I figure out what to do? Are you actually saying this to me? Collins, you're making me look like a bad person. Come on. My hands are tied. It's not as if I don't want to help. I was busy inside, Collins. Ah, I'm Jerry. Okay. Can I, can I have some money from you? My account is frozen. I don't, I don't have any money on me. Collins, I just told you my mother-in-law is around. And that means extra expenses. I, I wish I had something I could, I could, I could offer you. I don't have anything now. Okay, fine. Can you buy my car? I, I don't mind to sell it. Okay, the car? Just, yes. Just, well, I just hope you're not going to put too much money on that car. However, bring it tomorrow, and I'll see what I can do for you. Just hold the key. No, 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 don't worry. Keep the key. When you're coming tomorrow, you come with it. Okay? You have to excuse me. Everything we do in this world Everything has its reward What do you want? My in-law, good morning. Touch! Who is your in-law? Noah! Your in-law! Oh, so in-law is not written on my forehead, Kwaya? My eh? in-law, please. I was ignorant. My daughter is but a child. What do you want from me? What do you want here? My in-law. Shut up, woman! I am not your in-law. So go straight to the point or you get out of my house. Now! Please, okay, please calm down. I want you to help me beg your brother. Die! Beg who? What? Beg! Where do you want me to start begging him from? That I should accept a boy who is not his? I knew it. I knew that Collins was never our blood. Our ancestors hmm, said no. They were never happy that we had to take that. That. Get out of my house. Please, you can still. Beg your get brother. out of my house now before before I do something stupid to you. Get out of my house before. Yeah, I think we can get out of my yeah, house. Come down, please come down. This world, everything has its reward. Let me see you now. I have to take you. Good morning, sir. I have not seen you give me like this. <laughs> Nay, I'm going to your house. To my house. I hope all is well. All is well, my husband. I I just want to talk with you. As you can see, I'm going for a meeting. I know. But honestly, I need to talk with you. Biko. Am I saying anything? My husband. Yeah. I I come to I actually come to beg you. Beg me what? 
I actually came to beg you to help me talk to our in-laws concerning Elizabeth. Which in-law are you talking about? Our in-law, Elizabeth's husband. Mama Eliza, is this why you stopped me from going to a meeting? Huh? Oh. I have an Biko, please. I need you to help me. My husband! My husband, Biko. My husband. Let me ask you, when they came to marry Eliza, did you inform me? When I finally found out, what did I tell you? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Mama Eliza, are you inside? Oh, Uncle, hey. Oh, Uncle, good morning. Morning, morning. Hey. How are you? Fine, Uncle. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, where is your mother? She went to get some. Oh. Let me get a seat for you. Um, one, one, oh. Ah, she's here. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> my, <Mama>, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Hey. Are you ready? Mama Eliza, you're back. Yeah. Oh? This one you are here this time. Hope all is well. I heard that somebody is coming to ask for your daughter's hands in marriage. Yes. And you didn't bother to tell us. Her father's brothers. Ah? If I tell you, what will you do? Hmm? You will buy the drinks or the rice or the meat. But the normal thing is for you to tell us. You can't do it alone. Mm. And then me and me. Hey, in the way. If you don't know what to say. Ola! Mwa! Ola! In my brother's house. In my house. Let me tell you. It is very, very important for you to ask questions about the people that want to come and marry your daughter. What question do you want me to ask? I understand. We want to know who are as wretched as the people that came to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Yeah? Mama, let me shock you. This is extremely rich. You're going to have to walk. Mama Eliza. It has not gotten into an insult. What I'm trying to do is what I'm supposed to do as the only surviving brother of a late husband. And the answer I just gave to you now is the only thing I'm supposed to tell you as the only surviving wife of your brother. Ah. What do you want? Una? No problem. You let her see me. Don't worry, ask for me. Hey! I don't want it. Oh, Kennedy, how are you? Tom, 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 Tom. Hey! What are you doing? It's not me, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. Can you recall it? And now, you want me to go and talk to people whom I don't know. I can't do that. I will not do that. I don't want it. My husband. Hey, don't husband me. I husband the person. Have you turned to my housekeeper? You can do my husband, please forgive me, Biko. Help me. Why alone, Biko? Get up, get up. I will not get up until you forgive me. Oh, Biko. Biko. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm forgiving you. Oh. Thank you, my husband. I will talk to you. Thank you, my husband. You can go home. Oh. I'll talk to you. Oh? Oh. Well, Thank well, you, my husband. Lavaga, mm Major. -hmm. <laughs> John, it's a moon, I'm a boy. Idiot. Forgive me. Um, Mama Eliza. I've been able to talk to you before. But you told me that the young man is a bastard. Are you not aware of it? I I am now stop the hold on. Who do you want me to go and talk to? Is it the bastard or the man who disowned him? Just tell me. Go on. My husband. What would people say about my daughter and I? <laughs> How could we be this stupid to have lost this blessing? Mess. Eh? Is it Who put you into this mess? It was your stupidity and stubbornness that caused all this. Mama, you raised me to be stubborn. Mm, you are stubborn, I am stubborn. We are stubborn people. Eliza, you are not just stupid, but useless. It will keep. Mama, you are useless. Mama, if I am useless, then you are stupid. In fact, you are a stupid mother. In a, in a, what, what is it? Eliza, you called me a stupid mother. Eliza, you will die untimely. Devil will punish you. It will start from you. That devil will start from you. Devil will punish you first. My devil, my all his angels will punish you first, Mama. You're a bad mother, wicked mother. Mkapu. Instead of you to use your number six, you know, need a telestick, now I pencil. Was it only the number five you told me to use that landed us in this mess? Oh, if I had used number six, by now, I am a prison. Eliza, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you. Eliza, I know what to do. Okay, Mama, you take, Mama, when I hear a I'm giving you respect. I hear a pillow. When I hear a Mama, Eliza, what Mama? You got me, oh. Eliza. Mama, <laughs> you, you, you touch me, oh. Mama, I have to I have to oh. Mama, Mama, Elibia. I'm giving you respect, oh. Elibia. I'm not cool, oh. Mama, I'm so new. 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 Mama, i me use your my upper hand if I if I give you one blow, is it in Agasana and Reba? Hey! Look at you. Abomination. I know a man of Bodo. Eliza, I will not stand up from here unless you offer me cow. Eh? Officer Cow, I'll go and buy 10 trailer rolls of cow. If you don't want to, if you don't want to stand up, Dina Reba, will ever marry your bed. Look at you. Eliza, the woman, your generation will suffer. You are suffering Eliza. already. <laughs> You are suffering already, Mama! Wicked woman! This is the thing teach me how to respect my husband and my father-in-law. Behave like a good wife. You know what I'm saying? You're going Do this one. God will destroy you! He has destroyed you. you. God has destroyed you. God has destroyed you. Hi. You can destroy you, Mama! Oh! <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Mama, meaning of what? You entered my kitchen. 
Obviously, Mama, I went to collect some food. <laughs> Come on. Drop it. Nigo, Anneli. Obviously, Mama, I went to collect some food. Which food? My food. Let me ask you. Did you come back to this house with a grain of rice? Or even a dime? Mbano! You had the guts to enter my kitchen. In our, in, in, in our one new kelepo. Where are you going to? I want to wash my clothes. With my bucket. In a wana. I don't understand you. You want to wash with my bucket? Eh. Yeah. With what? Which bucket are we talking about? My own bucket. Take your time. This is my bucket. Oh, you came back empty. Means you are an empty vessel. your uncle i don't know you you are not my blood you can never on earth be my blood never let me pass uncle, uncle please Hi. i know i've messed up I, I don't care i don't care whether you messed up you messed down messed right left round about everywhere that is your cup of tea look don't 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 call me uncle again no. don't call me uncle i can't please help me talk to my father Ooh, the moment you open your mouth and call my brother, my brother, your father, he gets me mad. Look, listen, don't ever open your mouth and call him your, 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 your father again. Get out of my way. Get out. Don't, don't, don't come here. Don't come here, yo. Yes, everybody wants me, bro. Everything has its reward. Yeah. Oh, oh, my enjoy a little Makwara na bia, makwara ga bia, makwara na bia ni mazu. Everything you do comes back to you. Makwara ona bia ni mazu. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing, Michael? What are you doing here? Uncle. Uncle, please. 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 I feel so ashamed of myself. I don't care. I feel like I'm committing suicide. Please. Please. Help me talk to my father. I don't mind to be, I don't mind to be a good man, or to be a cook, or just to make up for the love he has shown me. Please. Point of correction, young man. Ferdinand, my brother, is not your father. Number one. Number two, if you want to commit suicide, you can go and kill yourself anywhere you like. Not in my compound. Listen to me. You're not my blood. I don't know you. 
I can never be your uncle. Father, you are a bastard. We pick you up from nowhere. You come and you behave as if we told you to somebody. And you, you treat, you treat your benefactor any how you like. Because of a woman. A woman! Kufukogi! Because of a woman! Okay. Kufukogi, I find out. Don't call me uncle. Don't call me uncle. This is the only family I know. This is the only family I know. To fear. This is not your family. Go to your family outside there. Not here. You don't belong to us. We don't know you. You are not our blood. Get out of my compound. I will die. I will die. This is the life. In my compound. You don't want to hear. You don't want to leave. Or the man. Okay. Every day when you die. Okay, I have heard you. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. Come on. Come on. Get out of the house. What is it? What is it? Nonsense. Get out! Get out! You nonsense! You bastard! Look at you. Come back and see you. We're gonna go watch this. You sent for me. Yes. Anna. You have this. Look, Anna, I am making you the managing director of my bottling company. Congratulations. Sir? Sir? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, sir you have done more than enough for me already. This is too much, sir. Look, Anna, you deserve even more. In fact, there's a, a car attached to your office. Sir? Anna. Sir? Anna, please get up. No, sir. I, sir, ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Look, Anna, just get up. You know you're a wonderful person. You deserve more than this. Just get Thank up. you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. My hands are shaking, sir. Start up. No, no, don't shake. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Get up, please. Ah, oh, no, sir. Let me thank you very well, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Oh, okay, I have the job now. You are, yes. And the car. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. I like the office. Okay, sit down. No, sir. Let me leave it down, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Everything you do 
Share with